Okay, so here's something kind of cool that we could apply to two planets and how they would interact with each other. These aren't planets because they're pretty small um, in mass, but um, same sort of principle here. So here it's saying, here's like point P, okay? Here's point P. What is the gravitational field strength at point P? Well, this is going to be a two-dimensional problem because there's two things going on. Really, if you think about it, it's going to have um, a field strength pulling it toward mass 2, and it's going to have a field strength pulling it toward mass 1. So which way is it going to go? What did we do when we were just calculating how we would pull something? Okay? Like... Um, of the overall field strength, right? So we need to look for G net, is how you think of it, right? The overall. Just like what we did with forces and kinetics and everything, we need to look at the net, the overall impact. If you don't want to listen, you could leave. Okay. Um, all right. So what we're going to do is we're going to say let's find G1 and let's find G2, okay? And then depending on which one is bigger, I'll show you then later, okay? So let's say this is mass 1 is equal to 27, or sorry, mass 1 is 172 kilograms. And mass 2 is 163 kilograms. R1 is 27 meters. And R2 is 15 meters. So I'm going to find out G for each of them using my formula. So G1 is equal to big G times M1 over R1 squared. Well, good question. It's like because I'm looking at this one separately and saying there's a point and it's being attracted in from this, this uh, mass. Yeah, so it's like I'm treating both as M2. Um, but I'm just going to make it the distinction and pick one as M1 and one as M2. So that's a good question, actually. Does that make sense? I can explain that again. Because both, both objects are exerting um, a force, that gravitational field strength. So now G1 is 6.67 times 10 to the negative 11 times 172 kilograms, all divided by 27 meters squared that. So G1 is 1.57. Then G2 is G times M2 over R2 squared. So 6.67 times 10 to the negative 11 times by 163 kilograms, all divided by 15 meters squared.
So this G2, when you plug it in, is 4.832 times 10 to the negative 11 newtons per kilogram. All right. So these are both times 10 to the negative 11. So I can look at the values of that times 10 to the negative 11. Which one is bigger? G2 is a bigger value. So when I think about my G net, which overall way is it going to be pulled? Which way? Right or left? Which one was bigger? It's going to be pulled to the right. So this one is bigger, so it's going to be pulled to the right. So to find G net, I need to go G2 minus G1. Okay? Because in that point, overall, it's going to be pulled towards G2. So now G net is G2 minus G1, 4.832. Meters per second squared minus 1.5737 times 10 to the negative 11 meters per second squared. So our overall G net, you should get 3.258 times 10 to the negative 11 meters per second squared or newtons per kilogram, either is fine. So G net then is 3.26 times 10 to the negative 11 meters per second squared or newtons per kilogram. Now, on your assignment, you're going to have a similar question, but they're going to be going like one is going up and one's going sideways. So what you do... Um, you can maybe just make a note of this. Um, yeah, you could say toward the right. Or toward, we should actually say toward mass 2 would be more accurate. So on your assignment, there's going to be a question where it's one's going up and one's going to the side, and here's the point. So what you need to do is you need to find out g of this one, g of this one, and then rewrite it like a vector. So you rewrite these like a vector. So that means you need to draw them tip to tail. So you would redraw it like this, G1, G2. And then to find your overall net is from the start to the finish. So that would be G net, and you would need to find theta. Okay, so it's just like we would do in kinetics and, or kinetics, kinematics and our forces. So it's just... You'll need to redraw it once you find those two vectors. Is it G two vectors? You have to calculate them just like we did, where you find G one and find G two. Yeah, if it's drawn like that, how can you can't just redraw the three vectors right away? Tip to tail right away? You could. Yeah. Yeah. It was just the drawing's gonna look like that first. Yeah, so yeah. if you just look at it, you can just look at it. Yeah, yeah, you could. For sure. For this one, because it's at an angle. For the other one, it was easy because we just said toward mass 2. And it's just right, okay, we could have said east then. Yeah, do, you, do, you consider, do you consider it east? So that angle would be so many degrees east and north? Yes, 